Well, listen, it's been a great first week for Canada at the Paris Olympics. And for Hamilton's Eleanor Harvey, she'll be coming home with some hardware. She picked up a Canada's first ever medal in fencing, winning bronze earlier this week. And she joins us live from Paris this morning. You were so close to a second bronze medal yesterday in the, in the, in the team foil. First off, congratulations. How are you? Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm really good. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, good to see you again. Listen, um, was missing out on the medal yesterday, coming in fourth, harder because you had a taste for winning that bronze medal back on Sunday? Um, no, I think it was probably easier um, because I knew that I already had won a medal. Um, it would have been so special to like win it as a team as well. Um, but my team is so, like super young and uh, we'll be back. So I'm, I'm just feeling really proud of how we competed and um, how positive and supportive we were with each other. Yeah, have you, have you been able to take it in? Because listen, now that happened on Sunday, we're a few days in now. Are you, are you sleeping with it? Like, can we see it actually? Let's see that bronze medal, show it off. Show it off for yeah, us. Yeah, here it is. There, is it, there it is. Is it heavy? <laughs> yeah, it's really heavy. It's like <laughs> quite heavy. Yeah, quite, hefty. Quite, quite hefty. Listen, what we love about you is you have such an authentic personality. Uh, you don't speak in cliches. You speak, you speak from the heart. You spoke about your mom being rather nervous uh, the day of your competition. First off, how was your mom? <laughs> Yeah, my mom told me she got a lot of messages about that, um, <laughs> about my comments about her. So just try to try to watch myself in, the, in these interviews. Well, but here's the here's the thing too. We love we love that authenticity, right? Because you, you like a lot of the time when when athletes are speaking in cliches and they you're speaking from the heart. So that's what we appreciate about appreciate about you and appreciate you about being from Hamilton. I know um, you're no longer in Hamilton. You moved out west to, to Calgary and then you're going to be going to Vancouver. But talk about Hamilton and what they've done for you to fall in love with the sport of fencing. Well, um I was very inspired growing up by uh, another Hamiltonian fencer, Josh McGuire, who I, you met. Um, he was my coach for a long time growing up, like all the way into my first Olympics, basically. Um, he went to the same middle school as me, uh, Dalewood Middle School, and uh, we would actually train in that middle school on the auditorium, um, like in the auditorium, uh, like on the stage and in the gym. And so like my school was super supportive and same thing in high school. Um, all of my teachers like knew about my fencing and were very supportive and like excited about like just seeing like a kid with a passion, I think. And um, I've been getting like a ton of messages from people in, in Hamilton um, being like, yeah, like represent Hamilton. And that makes me so happy uh, because yeah, I grew up there. I spent so long there and then I lived there for another couple years after university as well. Um, whenever I go back, I just have such like warm feelings and so many memories and my whole family is there as well. My, my grandma, my cousins, um, my grandparents, like, yeah. So I'm, whenever I go back, I feel very at home and I appreciate the support. Well, listen, you, you showed me the ropes. It was, a, it was eight years ago that we hung out, which is hard to believe, because I, I went out with you and, and Joshua, and um, I want to know, yeah. like, even, like, this is back in 2016. So you were getting ready for your first Olympics in Rio. This is your third. Like, what could you tell that Eleanor back in 2016 uh, now? I think, like, my attitude has stayed pretty stable and I think it would just be really comforting to know that um, it's really like just to stick with like what I was doing and to like trust that like my hard work would pay off uh, that is cliche to say but it actually happened um, I'm obsessed with fencing it's what I do with my life I, I've like devoted like all of my energy and time to like being the best fencer I can be and um, hopefully being eventually like the best coach that I can be as well. So uh, I would say to myself, just like lean into your obsession, like accept that about yourself. You don't have to like feel like you need to do other things just because it's not normal to be a full-time fencer. Um, in Canada, that's not really a thing, but 
I'm really happy with how it's worked out. Are you coming back to Hamilton? Can we see that bronze medal in person? I am going back to Calgary for like two days to pack, pack up, drive to Vancouver. I'll definitely come back to visit probably in like in the fall at some point, you know, see my family and friends. Um, I'm not sure when though. I, I'm very excited to come back when I do though. Yeah, open invitation, always here to Morning Live. Quickly though too, is this it? Are we seeing you in LA in 2028? Yeah, hopefully. I think yes. Um, my goal right now is to, you know, take it year by year. But right now, I, I, I couldn't be more motivated. I couldn't be more excited for like the future of my team um, and Canadian fencing in general. And I, I know like I have so much more inside of me. I have so much more like fire. So as I get older, <laughs> um, I just need to really focus on taking care of my body um, so that I'm able to keep keep competing because I know my skills and my mental uh, strength are on the on the up. Oh, we just love to hear that, Eleanor. You're just um, you're just fantastic. I, I I saw that back in 2016 when we met, and I see that again today. Your enthusiasm and uh, your, your unique way of uh, describing things is is great. So congratulations, well deserved. Say hi to mom. Say. Uh, Hi to grandma, all the family, and uh, congratulations on bronze medal. First ever Canadian to win a medal in fencing. Congratulations. Thank you so much.